Welcome. Today we are going to draw a rocket ship. The first thing we're going to do is add a new layer. The next thing we're going to do is take our line tool. I have a thickness of two. I'm going to select a point somewhere in this lower quadrant down here on the lower right hand side in my lower right hand corner and I'm going to stretch a line up to about the middle of the page. Then I'm going to start from the very same point down here on the right and I'm going to stretch a line that's slightly lower but that juts out a little bit further like that. After that I'm going to take my circle tool, my shape tool, make sure I have ellipse selected to draw an egg-shaped ellipse. I'm going to tilt it and I'm going to bring it over so that it touches the very tips of those lines. What you're trying to do is you're trying to create the illusion that there's a cylinder extending outward from a distance. Then I'm going to take my line tool again and I'm going to bring it down to this point and I'm going to stretch it up and I'm going to stretch it through the very center of that cylinder point to about there. The center is somewhere right here. Okay. Now I'm going to take this line tool again and I'm going to stretch down here to the edge of the egg and I'm going to bump this out a little bit so it's kind of rounded, not much. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'll take my eraser, I'll set it to 10, I'll zoom in, and I'll start erasing these inner lines, the ones that I don't want. So I don't need this center line right here. I don't need this line right here. I do need this one, so I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna erase around it. And that's it. And I'm going to erase all the way down. Like that. Okay. The next thing I'll do is I'll work on the tail end. So I'll come here. Now I want a line that matches the curve of this line, but smaller. So I'm going to take my line tool to stretch it from one side to the other. Now that's too thick because I had it on 10. I'm going to set it back to 2 and I'm going to bend this line to curve parallel with this big line right here. It doesn't have to be exactly right but try to get it at least close to the angle. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll take this line tool and I'll run one parallel, like that, and one like that. Then I'm going to make another line that curves, that also matches that curve that we just did. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in, take my eraser, and I'm going to erase this top line right here. I'll also erase this bottom one. I'm going to erase a little bit over here. I'll bring my eraser up to 7 to make it more effective. And now I'll bring my paintbrush back at 2. Like that. I'll come down here and I'll get the rest of this line while I'm at it. Okay. So far we just have the body. Now let's do the fins. I'll take my line tool. I'm going to take from about there on the rocket. I'm going to extend almost horizontally. And then bring it down like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing 
right here. I'm going to extend that way, and then I'll extend down like that. Now I'll take the bottom one, I'll extend out like this, and I'll extend up at that angle like that. Last is the other fin. I'll extend like this. And I'll extend this way. Imagine if there was a line connecting these two like that. Now I'll do the part where it connects to the side of the ship, like this. And I can round this a little bit, just like that. Connect this one here. Just like that. Now I'll take my eraser and I'll clean up the lines that I don't need. So I'll set it to 10. I don't need this line here. I don't need this line here. Whoops, too much. Don't need this one or that one right here. Now let's do some windows. I'm going to take my ellipse tool. I'm going to make an ellipse. I'm going to make it egg shaped and then I'm going to turn it so that it goes right in the center like that. This one's going to be a little bit smaller and I'll move it over here tilt it. I can even move it over and give a three-dimensional look like that. I'll try to do the same thing on the other side. So now the windows are look like bubbles, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's also add a window on the, the main body of this thing. Except here, I'm not going to have to clean up. Just make a line like that. And a line like that. Now I think I'll put some, some lines on the fins so that we can add some color uh, that's different from the color of the body later on. So I'm going to draw a line. It's going to point towards the center point right here. So from here, it points like that. From here, it points like this. From here, it points like that. From here, it points like that. Okay. Now I want to add some color. 